For most of the day, we were not able to break a very pesky low cloud stratus deck in the wiregrass until right now. We're starting to see those clouds uh, evaporate and some clear sky taking over. That clear sky will lead to some cooler temperatures than what we saw for this morning, for tomorrow morning. But we've got a little bit of fog developing, too, for tomorrow morning. So a mixed bag of weather for the next 12 hours or so. But what we can tell you is it looks like we're going to see some sunshine for the last day of 2014. Right now, numbers are falling through the 40s. 46 now in Troy, 47 Enterprise, 48 in Geneva. These folks have seen some clear sky for this evening. But where we haven't, folks down to the south in the Florida Panhandle, 57 Mariana, 56 down in Panama City, 59 also in southwest Georgia in Donaldsonville and 55 in Blakely. They're still hanging on to some pesky low level cloudiness and temperatures aren't going to drop until you see those clouds go completely away. And winds have started to calm down now as well. It was very brisk out there for today. Just added to that raw feeling with all the cloud cover, dampness from the last couple of days of rain and a little bit of wind made it feel very, very raw outside. You see over the southeast, those clouds shrinking from north to south. Some rainfall down in the Florida Peninsula, a little bit of uh, cloud cover to our west. Also some light snowfall in Kansas. But for most of the southeast and lower 48, it's been pretty quiet. Cold is going to be the big story for most of us across the country. 35 Nashville, 35 in Little Rock, but the real cold stuff well to the north in the upper Midwest and Intermountain West, nine below in Yellowstone, six below in Denver. And we have single digit temperatures, air temperatures in Texas, the Texas Panhandle, Amarillo at seven degrees. We're going to steer clear of the really cold stuff, thank goodness, but it will chill out a little bit here for the next couple of days. The future cast will show a clearing sky, but fog developing early for tomorrow morning. That fog will lift sunshine finally for Wednesday and it looks like sunshine Thursday too as we end 2014 start 2015 but another storm system will be well on its way by then it looks like it'll impact the wiregrass by Friday watch what happens more clouds Thursday than rain showers on Friday thunderstorm chances are pretty small and no severe weather risk out of this I think we're going to get a little break on Saturday before a cold front moves through on Sunday giving us more chances for rain and then hopefully drying out by Monday out on the Gulf for Wednesday breezy and bumpy northeast winds at 15 to 20 knots. Please be careful out there. Seas at three to five feet and a moderate chop on the bays. 40 when you wake up tomorrow morning, a little bit of fog out there too. 57 for tomorrow afternoon. Lots of sunshine, comfortable conditions may see a few high clouds out there, but a considerably nicer day than today. And that five day forecast is looking nice for tomorrow. Nice for New Year's Day. And then we see those rain chances come back into the forecast by Friday and the first weekend of 2015. Temperatures stay moderate with a little warm up by Saturday and Sunday.